Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to another big episode of Travel Time. This is Kamboga TV, one of the biggest online TV. And of course, my name is MC Barrio, uh, taking you through. And of course, let's explore. <laughs> yes, uh, this is Kasese for starters. If you've never been in this place, that's how it looks like. And of course, uh, a big town, though I captured it. Uh, part of it and of course um, that's how um, uh, the mountain range ranges look like uh, in the early mornings yeah this is a national park for starters if you've never been at queen elizabeth national park that's how the grass looks like or the vegetation cover yeah and of course it has that uniformity um, it has um, uh, that look as you can see and of course the kasana is always high <laughs> hey if you if you've been in this place you know what i mean you can never ever reach in this place with no uh maybe one liter of uh you, water <laughs> you have to take a lot of water and of course uh, so that you cannot be dehydrated so this is um uh, how it looks like you, you've uh, seen an elephant. Uh, I captured all that from a distance. And of course, uh, if you happen to get into an elephant instead, Tori, my friend, <laughs> you get it rough. <laughs> so this is how it looks like still in a national park. And of course, um, we, we, we were doing some study on plants and as well as animals. Animals that literally live in this area uh, are elephants, uh, lions, um, and of course, cubs. Those are the most um, common animals uh, in the Queen Elizabeth National Park. If you've never been there, please, Ugandans, I beg you one thing. You should explore them because... Uh, and of course, uh, tour around. I know you have the command name, but you don't want to spend it. But I have to also remind you that this this money goes back, and of course, it 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 turns to be the revenue here. And of course, you, you, when you pay for um, any tourism ticket, that means you are helping in the development of this country. Yeah, those are some of the um, road networks. And of course, uh, this is the road uh, from uh, uh, from um, uh, this. Sorry, it's a road that connects you to the national park. I I showed you the the Kasese side. Now this is uh, heading to Ishaka. Yeah, back to this other side, the national park. And ladies and gentlemen, the lake that is um, uh, uh, George. And to be specific, we are on the learning site. Yeah, we traveled. <laughs> But you know, Tambula. And of course, Kamuga Television is always here uh, to give you the information and, of course, uh, to, to keep you informed. Yeah? Uh, there's, a, there's a town in Kasese, it is called Mhocha. Yeah? It's so familiar to my, <laughs> to my town in Kamuga as well. <laughs> so, this is a landing site. As you can see, they are preparing. These are fishermen. Or you can them call them Abasohibejanyaj. <laughs> but that's how it looks like. Um, getting some information from them and, of course, telling me how they do the fishing. And, of course, this is a local way of uh, doing um, that activity. Yeah? Uh, I know there are some other ways and, of course, types. And, of course, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, different ways of uh of uh, fishing yeah uh, so we are still on uh so uh to be so specific uh this is kahendero eh? if you've been cases and of course you're familiar to this place it's called kahendero uh landing site and of course it's also um stands as a docking point thank you so much for loving kamuga tv